Understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on. Hi all, just going to go through some rotations of shapes to find the center of rotation. Okay, so there are three things we're going to need to know. Direction of rotation, degree of rotation, and where the center is. Okay, we're going to, on this particular video we're going to do 90 degrees. It's the MyMuffs homework that was set. So, the first one. Um, just to get started, we're going to just look at the shapes and the instructions from position A to position B. So I'm starting with position A, that's my object in each case, and my image is position B. Okay, So looking at A to B, it, an overview, I know I'm going to go in this way clockwise, and I can see if I turn that 90 degrees, one quarter turn, Okay, I can say that's 90 degree clockwise rotation. Looking at the second one, I can see that's flipped totally upside down. So it doesn't matter whether it goes clockwise or anti-clockwise, we know it's 180 degrees rotation. And looking at the third one, A to B, again I've gone a quarter of a turn, but this time I've gone anti-clockwise, 90 degrees. So I can go straight down when I'm coming to put these values in, and straight away that's half marks. My angle, remember we're doing clockwise or anti-clockwise or 180 okay it gives me my three options there so my first one 90 degrees clockwise my middle one is 180 degrees and my last one 90 degrees anti-clockwise okay now to find the center of rota uh, rotation okay because the 90 degree is only a quarter turn. I can't join up the different corners, the different vertices, uh, and find the center of rotation that way. So I'm going to have to draw perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line between the two of the three vertexes. So I'm going to take the outside ones like that. Okay. What I'm then going to have to do is find the perpendicular bisector of those lines and I need a set of compasses to do this. So grab a set of compasses, put it on the vertex of the first shape, okay, make sure my, I'm just going to rotate this around, make sure that my compass is, it doesn't matter where it is as long as it's over halfway, okay, it can be as wide as you want it to go, it can be the whole length of the line. What I would suggest is, I think where halfway is, go slightly more, okay, and then when I rotate that, I'm going to draw an arc. Without moving my compass, I'm going to move it to the other point, okay, making sure I'm on the vertex of the point, and I'm going to do another arc. Okay, this has then found the uh, perpendicular bisector, so if I draw a, a straight line, through my two intersection points, okay, we can see that perpendicular bisector. I'm going to leave that where it is. I'm going to leave all workings on, okay, and I'm going to do the same thing again on this second line. Now, if I drew it there, I wouldn't be halfway, so again, come just over halfway, okay, and I'm going to try and um, Try and draw it with a different colour this time. So there's my first arc. Go to my second vertex and draw another arc. And there is my perpendicular bisector. Again, grab myself a line. Okay, and I'm going to draw a line straight across through the two intersection points, making sure it goes through the intersection points on the two arcs that I've just drawn. So we can see that just here and through here. Now if you look at the two lines, the two perpendicular bisectors I've just drawn, my blue line and my red line, 
you can see they intersect at this point just here and if we read off our graph we can see we're going 1 negative 2 negative 1 so my intersection point my center of rotation is negative 2 positive 1 on the second one it's easier to draw uh, than the last one because I'm going to go from each angle it's 180 degree rotation so if I go to each matching vertex I can see exactly what the point that they rotate through together and that's this point just here really easy one to do center of rotation for 180 degree just match up the verti vertices on each shape okay and my rotation point at the center of rotation is zero because I'm on the y-axis and negative one and the last one let's go from the point of the line to the point of the line okay now take care to make sure you get them on the vertices or turn uh, otherwise it will uh, throw your perpendicular bisector out okay so then we're going to get our second line and we're going to go to the top edge of the top vertex on this one okay so grab my compass Oops. grab my compass go just over halfway of my line Okay, and I'm just going to draw my two lines. If I now put, I'll try and do this in blue, if I now put my bisector across those two lines, we can see that we need to go exactly. Okay. Come back to my vertex there okay and I'm going to go halfway so I'm not quite there yet so let's just go halfway there we go so there's my first arc go to my second vertex and do my second arc take my line tool and draw across making sure I'm cutting through each of the intersection points you can see though I'm not quite cutting through this top one here okay so just make sure you're cutting through each of those points exactly and you can see where the intersection point is is one two one. Okay, so we're going to my maths and we will plot those points that we've just calculated. So negative two one ninety degrees clockwise. The second one we've got zero negative one a hundred and eighty degrees zero negative one 180 degrees and on the third one we've got two one with a 90 degree anti-clockwise click mark it okay on to question two the easiest way to do this is using tracing paper and drawing it on okay now if I can pick a point on here, I'm just going to zoom in a little. Okay, I'm going to put, pick point C. So I'm going to pick this point here. Okay, now if I can think, there's my center point P. How many squares do I have to go along and up to get there? Okay, so let's go. So we've got one, two, three horizontally, and then we're going to go up. Two. Now if we rotate this shape clockwise, we're going to go this way, one quarter turn. 
So that means that as I turn the whole thing around, this horizontal line is going to be going round here 90 degrees. So let's put my little arrow in here. There's my 90 degrees. So it means it's going to go up in this direction. Now I've got one, two, three. Let's mirror that. One, two, three. And at this point I go two across to get to it. So that direction again is going to be mirrored one, two across and that's going to be that point C. So it's going to go from there to there. Okay. You can see that this shape is two squares wide so I can go one, two and you can see it's one square high so remember if I turn 90 degrees clockwise I'm going to go one square high. So my shape will become just there. Now if I've got tracing paper all I would need to do was trace around the original shape, rotate it 90 degrees, so if I put my line there I could rotate that 90 degrees so it's facing up and then I would just trace around the shape. But you can see how we can count it along, it's three squares, three squares and then I'm going to go across two squares, across two squares. So my points will be at uh, A is going to be there, B is going to be there, and C is going to be there. So let's quickly pop that onto my my maths. So remember, one, two, three, one, two. So my C. One, two, three, one, two. My B. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. And my A. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that's my first shape done. Okay, on to the next one. Because it's 180 degrees, about centre Q, okay, I can do exactly the same thing and reverse it. Alternatively, because it's 180 degrees, the easiest way may be just to draw a set of lines from each vertices okay, that goes through my centre point. Okay. So, how many squares is my first point away? Well, we go two down, one to the right. Two down, one to the right. Now, you imagine we're going to do the opposite because we're going to go 180 degrees. Two up, one to the right. Just there. Okay. Remember, it's going to be the opposite way round. So, I'm expecting a shape that looks like this. I know it goes across two squares from the one I've just put in, one, two, just that. Okay, there's my first two points pl plotted. And then you can see it's going to go down to the line because it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I can draw my shape in. Okay, returned flipped upside down 180 degrees okay and it matches my lines so I go back to my maths okay let's do F first that's the one we started with we've gone one two down one to the right so we're going to do the inverse the opposite we're going to go two up one to the left G if we're just counting two down one two three two up one two three and E from the center point, one, two, three, one, two. So three to the right, and then two up. So we're gonna go three to the left, and two down, and mark it. Okay, that's the homework complete. Remember to always see your summary before you log out.